So, um, and I'm, oh my god, did I really just lose the top? Alright, it's day 58. Thanks to my little story restructuring yesterday, where I only had like a few days remaining of this chapter to go, I guess. Just about the remainder of this challenge is going to be chapter 5. Um, I think I should still work on the beginning of the final chapter around, I think, like day 89, day 90. Somewhere around there, I should start chapter 6. But as of right now, if everything goes according to plan, I should be done with chapter 5 around day 88, I want to say. A lot of storyboarding in the last 24 hours. But in any event, this is page, what, 40, I want to say. So let's see what we got for today. Lots of new stuff in this page. I haven't uh, drawn Jean Nizu in quite a few pages. And then it's been a while since I've drawn Alexis either. So a little less Barry and a little less Raekwon for once. Okay, so started off with Shade and Dan. Now I think I went ahead and... Uh, shaded in Dan and then went ahead and did the gradient in the background. I think I did the gradients in each individual panel, at least to start off with. I know eventually I just went ahead and started going ahead and knocking those out beforehand, but I think for the first two panels I went ahead and did the gradients. Matter of fact, that's a lie because I didn't do it in Genie Nizu's because his effects cover up the gradient, so I didn't even waste my time. Anyways, um, this was filling in the shadows and highlights for Dan. Very simple, like I said, if it's a headshot of Dan, there's not really too much extra that I have to do because I don't have to add the details to his clothes or any of the fire designs on his shirts or nothing. And then, like I said, went ahead and added the gradient. It's faint, so that's just fine. Enough to let you know he's in some type of environment. He's not just standing in a gray void. And then on to Genie Nizu. This is always an interesting shading process. So went ahead and did the highlights for old cue ball here. I don't know why I have his head so shiny. Like you almost see a reflection in his head. Got the gold shadows in on the rest of his torso. Went ahead and got the highlights in on his body. Ooh, just thought about something. Because so much of him is being shown on, I guess the lower part of his body, I need to do the uh, glow designs. So I actually need to go back and fix that after this video's over. Glad I caught that. I don't know why I didn't notice that before, but I need to add the glow onto that. But anyways, I got the shading done on him and then went ahead and added the little aura around him. So I needed the two blues. Thank God I stuck those in my color palette so I don't have to do any guesswork there. And then that was finished for Genie Nizu. Like I said, that was simple enough. Though, like I said, I need to add that glow into his pants, thing, whatever. And then Alexis, who is getting more and more challenging each time I paint her, just because the sheer amount of similar brown she has in her clothes. But as you can see, as I skip forward, um, the highlights sort of break it apart quite a bit. Um, I'm glad she has the highlights, and I'm also glad she has a bright paint color because she is a complete wash of brown. I really like the design, but at the same time, it's shading wise, it's such just, a, I don't know how to even explain. It. Like I say, just a blur of brown. And to me, she's one of my more interesting designs, her and um, her Beaumont and maybe Jeannie Nizu. Speaking of the devil, back to Jeannie Nizu. I don't know what in the world I'm taking so long to click on right now. Okay. Okay, I'm trying to get his ears. I'm like, why am I not clicking on anything right now? This is actually interesting watching my own work back. Just sometimes I baffle myself at like, what am I doing in that moment? So anyways, get the highlights in. About to start doing the old skull one more time. The shiny head. Went ahead and pin tooled that just so I can get, cause it's so close up a more even sort of line there. And then from here, get the shining on his head and then above the eyebrows. And I hope I remember to get the uh, little shadow in on his third eye, I'm praying that I did. It doesn't look like I did, so that's another thing. What was I doing with Jeannie Nizu in this picture? So I gotta go back and edit those. I'll do that after I finish this. But anyways, here's the effect put in, this little aura. 
it's so crazy. I had that idea originally when he's in his paradise to have the aura just all throughout the environment that he's in. So I didn't need to actually draw it on him. But he's only in his paradise for like the first, what, chap the first like five or six pages in chapter one. Outside of that, he's never there. So he has his aura everywhere he goes and it blocks out so much of everything else I have going on in the environment when I do that. And then I'm gonna have to go back at another point towards the end of chapter six and finish drawing Genie Nizu back in his paradise so I won't have to do that effect to end the comic out. So I can't wait. I can't wait to get to the end of chapter six anyways, just for the actual ending of the story. It's so dumb, I kinda can't wait to get to that point. I feel like I already have like old man humor and like I'm not yet. Um, guess we'll get to that when I end the chapter, but in any event, this is page 40. There's a whole other added layer onto chapter five, a battle that I was postponing towards actually the end of chapter six. I flipped that with another battle and moved that into chapter five. It actually makes more sense for me to do it this way anyways. Um, I don't know why I did it in the reverse order to begin with, but I sort of flipped those. So I have another fight that I'm going to be drawing in the next couple pages. I think it should start like the mid part of next week. I believe so. I think I have a little bit of exposition going forward with Alexis and Dan and Raekwon. And then after that, We'll get into another battle in the story, and this one will have a lot more, a lot more action and a lot more effects than the previous one, which is also another reason why I kind of moved that battle into this chapter, because I didn't want this chapter to sort of end how it was. So I had a lot of finagling to do, but all in all, um, yeah, pretty simple page for the day. Pretty simple page for the day, and we'll see what tomorrow brings with my next matter of fact. Tomorrow should be a simple one as well, because I think tomorrow's my victory page. So that honestly should just be a splash page of Dan. Need to check my storyboard and see about that. But in any event, um, this is day 40. Not going to talk too much further into the future right now. This is where we are. And uh, go ahead, like, leave a comment, subscribe if you haven't. Let me know what you think about today's sort of page. And you all have a good one, and I'm out.